Hello all out there in 3D world. I hope you're enjoying uh, the uh, benefits of being able to sit at home and do something constructive like create 3D. So here I am in Daz Studio. Now when you want to go from uh, Daz Studio to iClone, I found that you've got to stay to 4.20 uh, because it just doesn't convert it. It changes it. Uh, it doesn't. The plugins haven't been all updated. Uh, whereas 4.21 is what you use, uh, which basically means that if you make something in 4.20, save it as a file, open it up in a separate version of 4.21, and then all the uh, you know t uh, the sorry the uh, plugins for 3D Max and Maya and Unreal Engine Blender whatever they're all there. Okay, so but iClone no, it hasn't caught up so. But I've been working on trying to convert a um, one of the new ones. So uh, here we are in Genesis 9. I'll refresh it just to bring it neat. So characters. And uh, now you got the popular Victoria. I've also got Peepa. So I'm gonna uh, take Peepa out to um, iCloud. All right. So here she is, and um, I'll just put some basic clothing on her. Uh, what I have is. I'm going to go for bikini. It's bottoms and uh, top and some sandals. I will put uh, some nice hair that I've got, which is um, as originals. Uh, curly top. We'll do the long soft curls. Okay, now I find that one thing that's nice about the um, presets here is to pick one that works better with iClone, and the hair not sort of covering the clothes and things is something you want. So, going down to the hair here, all right, I've got it at the back of her, so it's much easier to uh, manage. I also might change the color of it, and uh, I've got enough red heads. I'll make it. Uh, black okay because uh, the other girl's always redhead so black or a nice brown soft brown what have we got? Yeah, okay now so there's people um, now let's go uh, exporter to uh, iClone so export uh, I'm just gonna um, actually go up to uh, we go up to the desktop and um, we'll go Peter the bikini and we're going to save that and then figures selected locks binary 2012 it's basically all the settings that it was so not selected right that says that cancel and you got to go back select select all so let me file, export, uh, sorry we'll go back to the desktop and make up a name, let's just Peter Bikini, save it out, figures selected, do do do, all that same, yes, except that as we so beautifully learn to do in the 3D animation industry, we learn to wait, but it won't take long this part. The conversion in iClone takes a bit longer. You have to use AccuRig. That's basically why iClone added AccuRig to the business. Because they knew that uh, there was a new update coming from Daz and uh, it would handle 9. It doesn't handle in Transformer. If I go to my desktop and go to Peter, oh, that is Peter Bikini, right? Open. doesn't even know what good stuff is yet <laughs> okay let's go to desktop again we go to Peter humanoid non-standard apply
So, if you get this far, it's working beautifully. Now, we'll close the characterization. Go to AccuRig. And create guides. Okay. Excellent, right? Once that's all done, then it's all working. Hit your check animation, and we should be back to uh, bang. We shall have a full working uh, Daz lady here. Okay, looking good. Everything's perfect, right? Absolutely beautiful. Now, as you can see, the one thing left to do is to fix her eyes. So, what we do is uh, get out of AccuRig and uh, go into uh, Edit Mesh Sculpt and then the eyeball on the far right using your X to travel around the place your X button right, you get up nice and close make sure your radius sit in your Q button Bring it in just to make sure your radius is only the size of her eye. Bang. There's her eyeball back, right? Bang. Now, you also want to get rid of the whites. Let's go pretty well look for the main arch all the way around here. Take that off. You can clearly see there's a line here. It's gone. Uh, same thing here. That's gone. Then there. That's gone. Now close that off and see how we went pretty perfect now if you want to get really pedantic oh right up my nose if you really want to get it absolutely perfect um, there's two tiny tiny little bits here right so if we want to we can go into edit mesh again uh, sculpt the eyeball Bring the radius right down. Bang. Okay, hit the X, move across the face, and tilt it sort of up a little bit, whatever, and you know what you're doing. Um, we just need to go in close -ish. Uh, can't get too close. Okay, somewhere around, I think, there. You get it? I hope so. And uh, I missed it, see, it's just. That's a hard one. Right, I'll try one more time. I mean, you won't even see that from the distance, but edit mesh. Sculpt. Eyeball, and then we'll bring our radius right down. Got it. You actually need the circle, see the way it was arched? No good. You need it to be flat, right? So it's actually doing, you need it to be that way, right? So it's doing the surface. That was the difference. Um, bang. Eyeballs looking beautiful, okay? So there's Daz 9, right? Absolutely perfect into iClone. And as you'll see, once I uh, re add the motion, there she is. Lovely. Okay, so I hope that has helped people establish, um, you know, the introduction of Daz9 into iClone and how to get her looking good. As you see, she's pretty... The clothes came through pretty well, you know, considered it's just a little strap. But yeah, that's beautiful.
All right, I hope that's helped. Thank you very much. This is Animated Life 3D.